Hi everyone, I warmly welcome all of you to my movie review YouTube channel, Miss Fanatic. Guys I am just another cinephile like you, who love to watch movies and talk about them. So if you like this review then subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also try to like and share this video. Today I am going to review this 1988 American erotic romance movie, To Moon Junction, directed by Zalman King starring Sherilyn Fenn and Richard Tyson. Two Moon Junction is a one-time amorous thrilling ride, a softcore erotic porno but it has its aesthetically pleasing elements that'll spice up your mood. Released mid-1980s when genres of drama romance and thriller with erotica were a lucrative business. Well known for carrying out themes of sexuality in his movies, Zalman King linked the erotics feel this time with scenarios of a carnival set up in a town, the amusement fairy wheel rides set in the sizzling hot summer, relished with lush jazzy saxophone scores composed by Jonathan Elias. Featuring Sherlyn Fenn as Miss April Delancre, a young and attractive, privileged daughter of a powerful wealthy Alabama senator, a respectable Southern family. April has a modest, morally pure lifestyle but a frustrated one. The sorority queen has been graduated recently and pressurized by everyone especially her grandmother, Belle Delancre, featuring Louise Fletcher, to be a guardian of the family cum responsibilities. After Belle she's the heiress of all her properties, including her favorite memorable pavilion Two Moon Junction, the place where April had spent her childhood longing an idle fancy, the sexual urges, or her very sexual repression hidden from the external world. Since the title Two Moon Junction, may be a pun, given the erotic nature of the film. Soon to marry April to the perfect Mr. Chad Douglas Fairchild featuring Martin Hewitt, a rich handsome, powerful, prince-like who will make a fine husband and April loves him too. They're like the king and queen in their big fairy tale wedding. Marrying too rapidly provided April no chance for any second thoughts. But the suppressed advances April longed for the libido concealed with layers of restrained passion, the hindrances to love and lust, will unveil very soon in her life. What alters April's world is the shaggy roustabout, at the carnival named Perry featuring Richard Tyson, an attractive and charming, a mysterious one but bad-mannered man, and occasionally humble, who has his time with snobs and douchebags. Perry's masculinity, attracts April's attention, likewise every woman in the Two Moon Junction somehow gets smitten by Perry, who arouses excitement in them as he is also cited in the film as, he's the one gorgeous hunk of a man. He has his way of flirting with every woman he meets. Later, he invades her home and took a nice hot shower, first off April warns him and even flee outside, but intrigued by Perry, this time she obeys her heart. She had the time of her life, the prolonged sexual repression, the one she detained long, which had been brought to light, the libido the unchecked desire by Perry. Conscious, that only two weeks left to her big wedding day, she engages in a vile adultery. Perry's compelling charisma, impulses April to discard the obligations, which were imposed on her by her elitist society. She now been living a double life, that throws her at a junction of uneven paths, agitated through spanking and very new crossroads. An intimate sexual feeling develops towards each other. After each sexual occasion, April shed tears and hugs Perry intimately, due to her awakened intimate satisfaction. April, certainly has to make up her mind, marrying Chad and be safe secure, or the choosing the peril trail, but a passionate with Perry. Unwillingly, April has to obligate her family, and wed with the the safer one Chad. But after even though married she and Perry continues the affair, April invades Perry's space this time, alike the very first interaction taking a shower. In the ending, camera zooms into April's wedding ring, cognizant of now, that she's been married. Two Moon Junction is a one-time amorous thrilling ride, a softcore erotic porno, but it has its aesthetically pleasing elements, especially those robustic sweaty carnival dudes with muscles, and steamy bare chests appearance, in the glittering hot summer, and you know, without a doubt, it'll certainly spice up your mood. Moreover, it points out the odds present in the upper and high class society, like their certain hypocrisy, and pseudo-double standards in the marriages and relationships. Some scenes in the film seem to be specially targeted for female audiences, particularly when April partakes in voyeurism, she masturbates in the shower, while secretly sneaking, onto other people side by side, this scene also introduces us to the Perry's charm. And some scenes, like the poor muscular men in carnival with their shirt off sweaty bodies. 
the arrival scene of Carnival, in the beginning, when all people including April, somehow got intrigued by it. Numerous sex scenes throughout the movie which are in slow motion, but really are long and sexy. Written and directed by the King of Erotica, Zalman King, famous for showcasing eminent sexuality in Wild Orchid released in 1990 and also Wild Orchid 2, and also films like Nine and Half Weeks, made this in the era of mid-1980s and into early 90s, when genres like erotic drama romance thriller were very lucrative. Camcorder stuff was similar in Zalman King, Wild Orchid 2, where a snuff film was made, here Perry records their very first sexual act, and later April receives pleasure from it. This movie was a big success in the home video market, rather than the commercial cinema. Script is written as a deliberate attempt to a story, fancied with bodies and sexy looks of the leads. Fen fails to project the emotions, through her face and the body expressions, but her looks, especially naked ones, are stunning. Tyson appears articulate, unintelligible, and inadequate in expressing things, befallen due to very nature of the film. It felt like actors were merely casted for doing the sex scenes. Some dialogues, appears to be unrelated to the dilemmas, often hysterical and ridiculous. Bell character is powersome, an obstacle in April's Perry's relationship. April's fiancé Chad, this character is an absence of enthusiasm, colorless and plain, mostly out of sight. Supporting cast, were better than main two leads. There are some good cameos, like one by Milia Jovovich, young early teenage face with a petty role, and one of my best was role of Patty Jean, played by Christy McNichol, a freaking bisexual woman, who is Perry's ex, and she also flirts with April, she meets her while hanging out with Perry, and she's a very rash driver, once a cowgirl later she teaches April some of her potent tips, to a sexy attire and how to lure Perry through her sexual appeal. Patty, delights the dance floor, with her hot seductive intensity. So, guys did you like my review on this movie, and have you ever watched this movie in your life, and what's your opinion on this movie to Moon Junction, please tell me by sharing a beautiful comment below on this review video, thank you.